Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement. Today we have a really really cool product. In fact, we are probably gonna make a new Dyson Nano and I'm amazed by that. In fact, I have a 2S Dyson Nano right here. It's made with a um, Novice One drone and it's amazing. It's just 2S. You know, it could be more powerful and that's what I want. This is a really cool drone. In fact, it is super light, weighs like with all of it, 75 grams, which is really, really crazy. And it opens the door for a lot of markets where like Australia, where you need a drone that's 100, less than 100 grams. And this does it actually. But I want to yes on this. And I know there are like drones like the Mobula 7 HD and other drones that are yes compatible. I had it, but it's broken. The issue is you have to pay more for a drone and you have to remove components. And I wanted a drone that you can just buy and mount the, the camera really easy. You already have everything you need. And I guess I found it. In fact, a company called King Kong RC at the time is former called like that. And it used to make amazing tiny whoops at the time. They changed their name to LDA RC. And this is their new ET75 drone. 3S and the only thing that's 3S is the motor core. Every, everything else is 4S compatible actually. So if they make better motor, this is even 4S compatible. And this has all everything in check to be the next Dyson Nano. Let's check it out. And this right here is the box. And it actually is repurposed from our old brushed drone. You can see the place where the motor sits, the brushed ones. But still, it works and it's a cool box actually. And also they sent me this, I don't know, probably it's a drone stand and it doesn't work with this particular drone, you'll see it later. Or maybe I'm stupid, but I don't know. So let's open this box, there is some tape, but it just pops out and we are ready to see what's inside. We get an explanation of the flight controller. This is their own flight controller. Then we have some foam. And they don't want the drone sliding around at all. Like there is rubber band. The drone itself. And this is looks, looks actually really nice and also sturdy. And then we have the usual prop removal tool. And some pillars for this. Also comes with an HD camera if you want, but we probably don't need the pillars. For this kit to be complete, I would have liked to see a screwdriver like this, those small ones, so you can uh, service your drone if you don't have it, but hey, this is nothing, like it's cheap. And some extra propellers, which I have, but it would be nice to add them, but still it's fine. And this is the drone, and it already comes with a 3S battery. This is a King Kong LDARC 300 mAh 3S battery, and it comes with a cool discharged rubber band and you just flip it and it's charged. And this is cool. <laughs> and this is the drone. And just look at those motors. They are quite big for being a 75 mm drone. And I really like this. In fact, they are 1102 9300 kV motors. And I guess they're gonna push and have a lot of torque. And that's what we need if you wanna carry some weight. Also, the other thing I'm excited about is the flight controller here. It has an integrated back with 1.5 amps, so it should be able to power the GoPro no problem. And that's amazing, we don't need a back, but if you want to use a back, no problem. It is a F4 flight controller with integrated 16 amps with 20 amp burst ESCs. Basically, <laughs> it's overpowered for this drone. And again, really nice. Also, it has a 200 milliwatt VTX which I already love, like I always use 200 milliwatts. I don't know why I feel like it's a good compromise. And for these little drones, what do you expect? It comes with an LED at the back, which I'm probably gonna remove because it's extra weight, I don't need. And also I can see there is a buzzer inside. It doesn't come with an actual receiver, it comes with this outside, so you can plug your own receiver into it. And it also comes with a Rankam Nano 2 camera, which is perfect for my mount, actually. I always use this type of cameras. And so, as I was telling you, this is basically a frame swap. You swap out the canopy, you put this canopy in, and you're ready to go. And also, this drone weighs 43 grams right now, which is a good starting point, but when I guess when we remove the canopy, the buzzer, the LED is gonna weigh like 
I don't know, I'm gonna say 35, which then you add uh, uh, like 20 grams of that canopy with the GoPro, you add uh, the battery, we're gonna be uh, less than 100 grams for sure, and this is 3S. I, I can't wait to do it. Perfect, we have the antenna in place, and I also went upstairs and I just binded it to beta flight and I tested flying it. And with the stock settings, actually it's cool because, okay, it has trumpets so you can change VTX channel with your radio. I tested it and it didn't fly really good. It, there is wind outside, but it felt like driving a boat, uh, like a rodeo, because the drone was just wobbling without um, me being able to, to stop it. Like I was pushing there because it was wobbling there and then it will change in, without reason. And so I decided to update it because it was on Betaflight 3.5.7, I hope I said it right this time. And I updated it to the latest Betaflight firmware, which is 4.2.1, I guess. And it just works fine now. So if you have issues with it, just test it. And you'll see the footage, there is a lot of wind outside. And now it flies amazing, like it pushes like crazy. It drains the battery a little bit, also my batteries are quite old because they are more than a year ago I bought them, so yeah, they're a bit used Still, it flies really fast, flies really good uh, It's a nice little toy, but you know <laughs> You know the drill <laughs> I didn't get it for fun, I got it for making this So, if you were interested about this, it's a good drone and you can get it with the link below And also I'll give you a discount if you're interested about the Dyson Nano, well, you have to stick out for another episode, which it will come really soon. So, till the next time, stay safe and happy flying. Bye!